Zika virus is still a concern, although it hasn't been in the news nearly as much lately. Uh, we do still know that there is virus circulating in large parts of the world. So the primary group that we're concerned about with Zika risk is women who are pregnant or women who are planning to become pregnant because of the effects that this virus can have on unborn fetuses. The other group of concern would be partners of women who are currently pregnant or people who are planning to become pregnant. Although Zika is primarily a mosquito-borne disease, we also worry about it um, because it can be transmitted sexually. Uh, it's really important for them to follow the CDC guidelines about how long to wait before starting a pregnancy and if the partner is currently pregnant, to use condoms uh, to protect their pregnant partner from an infection. Before people travel, it's always a good idea to talk to your doctor and make sure you're aware of uh, any potential disease risks in the areas where you're traveling, um, especially if you are planning a pregnancy or are currently pregnant. It's important to talk to your doctor if you may be traveling to an area with Zika or if your partner is going to be traveling. For mosquito-borne diseases, really the best thing you can do is try to limit your contact with mosquitoes. So wearing a good insect repellent when you're out and about, so typically we say anything up to about 30% DEET. Um, trying to wear you know, long pants and long shirts if possible, and really just, like I said, trying to insulate yourself from mosquitoes. So staying in places that have air conditioning or screens on the windows can just help limit your contact and therefore limit your, your risk. Not everyone will get symptoms. It's pretty common with uh, viruses like this that many people who are infected don't ever show any symptoms. Uh, so it is important for people, if they have potentially been exposed, to take precautions, especially if they have a partner that's pregnant. If people really want to know kind of the, the latest information about where they should travel and kind of the status of everything that we know about this virus and where it's circulating is to visit the Minnesota Department of Health website and there we also link to the Centers for Disease Control website and they have um, really great maps and country lists and kind of anything you would ever want to know about Zika you can find on their website.